Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are fine and doing well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEVS home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift dear students today i am going to take a science class for class 7 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 1 cq1 creative question 1 number let's see today's topic our today's topic is chapter 1 cq1 creative question 1 today we will do creative question number 1 and this is lecture number 3 and uh, today i will give you sw our sw number will be 2 number sw so dear students let's start the class you can see i have written here creative question number one questions and answers and this is your science book from chapter one page number 10 here is a stem today we will do this creative question and answers you can see here is a stem this is a picture uh, this is a figure a and this one is figure b and question here is what is algae a number question is what is algae and b number why are fungi termed as saprophytes c number explain the preventive measure against the disease caused by a that means this figure and b number sorry d number b is a harmful organism but it is important for environment give your comments with reasons now a number answer a number question was what is algae what is algae and answer here is algae are chlorophyllas that means its color green chlorophyllas and autophytic plants of the order thallophyta and autophytic means they can uh, make their own food because they contain chlorophyll so answer is algae are chlorophyllas and autophytic plants of the order thallophyta now b number answer b number question was why are fungi termed as saprophytes why are fungi termed as saprophytes answer is here fungi are non-green thallophytic plants they are non-green thallophytic plants they cannot take part in photosynthesis because they do not have chlorophyll so they are heterophyte or saprophytic so they are heterophyte or saprophytic because they don't have chlorophyll and they can't make their food by themselves so they depend uh, uh, on other organisms for their food now c number c number question was explain the preventive me measures uh, against the disease caused by a answer is here figure a is a picture of antamoeba you can see this one this figure a is the picture of antamoeba this is antamoeba students when you will write antamoeba this is a scientific name you have to underline like this figure a is a picture of antamoeba it causes amoebic dysentery to prevent the disease following steps are to be taken first point hands to be washed thoroughly with soap or hands hand wash before taking meals and after defecation and second point nails should be cut regularly and keep small three number point filtered or boiled water should be taken to boil water also safe for drinking bathing and washing four number point sanitary toilets 
with hygienic quality are to be used. Now D number question answer. D number question was B is a harmful organism but it is important for environment. Give your comments with reasons. Here is B. You can see this is B number picture, B number figure. So figure B is a picture of bacteria. This is these all are bacteria. Figure B is a picture of bacteria. It is a prokaryotic organisms. They are prokaryotic organisms. They are responsible for producing disease in man, animal and plants. They also help in decomposing dead bodies and organic wastes. As a result, the decomposition converts into organic fertilizer and mixed with the soil to increase fertility. Thus, the plant can collect nutrients from the soil. Some bacteria fixes nitrogen. Plants collect nitrogen from them. Nitrogen is very essential for plants for their survival and growth. Bacteria also help in removing jute fibers from the stick. So we conclude that although bacteria are harmful microscopic organisms, but in some cases they are very essential for us and natural balance. Students, please note down all questions and answers from here. Now, I will give you SW. And this is uh, your uh, two number SW. This is two number SW. And remember that when you will do your SW, please write down SW number on top of your copy. This is very important. Students, please write down SW number and day. Submission day. And your SW is creative questions. CQ1. CQ1 but sub number will be A. C and B of chapter 1. Today we have done creative question 1 and your SW will be A, A number, sub number A, C and D number. I hope you have understood. So dear students, do your SN SW in your SW copy and keep practice it at home. And you have to submit your SW on every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So dear student, stay home and we'll see you again in our next class. Thank you.